What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining into my channel. It is your boy Skittle Fabs. If you are new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my videos other than the Time and Chain video because I know everybody has peeped that video. By the way, I will be updating everybody on a new Time and Chain video after this video because this is my final video before I go ahead and slap on all the accessories other than the time and chain because I want to bring you guys a new video so I'll be working on that but today I will be giving you guys a video on me installing my cams my buckets and my cam caps and torquing them down onto my 4B12 cylinder head of my caliber SRT4 so stay tuned before I go ahead and mount you up on the, my tripod, which is right there, I want to go over everything we're going to be needing for this job. We got my Harbor Freight 3 8 inch drive torque wrench that I will be torquing down my cam caps with. So we will be needing a 10 millimeter socket 3 8 and we'll be needing Lucas high performance assembly lube semi synthetic you can get this at AutoZone or you guys can go ahead and go to the description and click my link which will go ahead and bring you to eBay so what we want to do before we do anything is go ahead and lube up the buckets if you haven't cleaned your whole assembly rotating assembly I would do that first because that is something I've already done I like to keep everything clean and a, you know free of debris so I already cleaned it with awesome auto degreaser I had that and I ended up you know cleaning them and then I went and wiped them with another lint free rag to get off all the other stuff and polish them that's why they look so nice and you know, shiny but I have a cheat sheet right here that I made so you guys can go ahead and see this but I'll also leave a picture right here so you guys can go ahead and see what I am seeing over on my cell phone how that's laid out over here is how it's gonna be laid in there this one will be one, two, three, four exhaust, one, two, three, four intake. The buckets go over the springs and retainers. All right, so what we gotta do is pick them up like that, make sure they're clean, like I said, lint free, and we're gonna go ahead and lube them up with the Lucas assembly oil with gloves. We're gonna go ahead and lube that up and then slide them in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you up on that tripod and we're gonna go ahead and install those buckets into my cylinder head. Okay, I just finished assembling the buckets into their homes with the assembly lube. Let's go ahead and lube your journals. Now you can go ahead and take a nice dab on each of your buckets. Don't forget your barren. Now that we have everything lubed up nice and green slimy looking like there we go. Go ahead and lube that. Make sure that's fully lubed. Same here. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and install the cams. Remember, everybody, make sure your cams are debris and lint free. Going to go ahead and lube each area where it rides on the journal. So you got four on each one, two, three, four. Then you got the end cap areas right here. So this one right here, you can read, it says EX, that is the exhaust. 
this would be rotating on the time and chain side because your timing gears would be bolted up there. So what we're going to lightly do is put a dab on each. Rotate it around, work it in. Go ahead and lube your lopes. I probably called something else, but it's all right. And then your end. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and install them. Slowly do this. Okay. This one also reads intake IN. Go ahead and lube. Move up your lopes a little bit. Just the excess. Since we already put some assembly lube on the buckets, now we can go ahead and lower this in. Now that we have our cam set in position and lubed up on the journals, we can go ahead and lube up all of our cam caps. So on the cam cap, you'll see E1, which will be exhaust one. So that will be right here. So what we're going to do, just lube up underneath the cam cap. Go ahead and make sure your arrow is facing inwards. Give it a couple spins. E number two. E number three. E number four. To be intake number one. You'll also want a 10 millimeter handy with an extension just to help you hand tighten them down in sequence. When we tighten just the cam caps alone, not the cam, they call it an intake and exhaust cam cap. So it makes sense. What we're going to do here is make sure you have your baron on the bottom, well, the top, and goes on the exhaust. Make sure you do that because the exhaust is the only one that has the baron. Go ahead and give that a dab. Place it down. Now that we have all the cam caps and the end cap, which is the intake and exhaust cap. So I just left Sears and I picked this Craftsman 3 8 25 to 250 inch pound inch to one inch pound increment so this is more or less for my uh, cam caps so 25 to 250 inch pounds so this will do anything when it comes to say 85 inch pounds this will be per perfect for the cam caps and um, then I got the front and rear cam cap which is on the passenger side before we go ahead and snug these bolts down, I would just want to go over sequence, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then when it comes to the end cap, 1, 2, 3, 4, and these cam caps, intake and exhaust, are 85 inch pounds or 9.5 newton meters and then the end cap 18 foot pounds or 25 newton meters so we're going to be using inch pounds and foot pounds on here you guys can use newton meters so in sequence let's go ahead and take your 10 millimeter and snug them right down to the bottom that's one and two by the way the first cam cap is E3, exhaust three. Now you can take your 12 millimeter. 
Number one, two, three, four. Now that all the cam cap bolts are snug, we're gonna go ahead and take our 10 millimeter once again. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little snug. We're just trying to evenly compress these cam caps down into their spot evenly before we go ahead and torque down to 85 inch pounds. Okay, now you can get your wrench, go to 85 inch pounds, I'm gonna unlock this, decompress it, give it a little shake, make sure it's on the right direction. And now we're gonna go up to 85 foot pounds. 85 is right there. All right, right at 85. 10 millimeter, 3 eighths. Slap that right on there. Don't get an extension because that will change the torque. So we're gonna go to 85 inch pounds in sequence. Right here, we're gonna get our click. There we go. There we go. So, cam cap one on the exhaust is done, which is E3. Now we're gonna go over to E2. Snug them up. This is what we're doing. We're snugging both sides up now. Now we're gonna go ahead and torque it. When you guys are using this torque wrench, use one finger all the way at the distal end of the handle. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the exhaust and then we'll move into the intake. Now we can go ahead and go to number one on the intake. On the intake and exhaust end cap, we are gonna use the 12 millimeter in sequence. One, two, three, four, 25 Newton meters. We're gonna take our 12 millimeter with our three eighths in sequence. Let's snug them up. And then go ahead and torque. Number one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna take our three eighths and we're gonna go back to 85 inch pounds. Go over the sequence once again on all your cam caps and then we're gonna do it a triple time. Yeah, see that one had to go down a little bit more. Once again. Take a 12 millimeter and we're gonna go to 28 Newton meters. All right, 28. Our last step to finishing this cam install is our phasers our two phases, exhaust and intake. You can notice that there is two differences. This one is the exhaust, this one is the intake. Let's go ahead and make sure you have all the debris wiped off, no lint. You can notice that in the back of this cam gear, there are a few holes, right? So you're just gonna go ahead and line it up to this little dot right there, which Right in the middle, that third one, well, second one out of the three. I'm gonna go ahead, slip that on. Here we go. Insert your bolt. Same with the intake one. We have, let's see, two and then three. Just line it up to that. Put your bolt in. Last step is we're gonna take a 14 millimeter for the phaser bolts, intake and exhaust. We're gonna take this, the plumber's tool, put it right on this notch. 
that is on the intake and exhaust between intake one cam cap and intake two cam cap. Go ahead and snug that up. Now we have 44 foot pounds. Knob is pushed in. Go ahead and take your wrench, hold it. 44 foot pounds. There we go. Let's double check it. Double check. Now we're going to go to the exhaust. Check. Ah, all right, guys. We are now done with our cam install to our 2.4 4B12 caliber SRT4 cylinder head. Phaser bolts are now torqued down to 44 foot pounds and if you want to know newton meters, 59 newton meters if you are tightening down your phaser bolts to newton meters. But uh, yeah, we have our cams now installed to the top of our cylinder head. Remind you, we went over the ARP install, we torqued them down to 90 foot pounds using the Craftsman and well we use the Harbor Freight, we use the, uh, the Mac, we use the Craftsman. We might as well get a snap on over here too, you know what I mean? Just a quadruple check it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish assembling this block and you can see I got all my new parts. So I'm not gonna be bringing you guys videos on putting all the block back together other than the timing chain and oil pump that will be another video my name goes by skittle fabs it was a pleasure you guys i hope you guys like this and my videos and my channel again if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and smash that little bell button right at the end and that's my 4b12 caliber srt4 cylinder head cam install be easy stay tuned